Hi students, today I am going to explain the structure of benzene. Faraday first discovered and Mr. Lish gave the formula of benzene as C6H6. Many scientists tried to give the structure for the benzene linearly but they failed. Because of lot of unsaturation present in the benzene, it is not but it is not giving the test for the cold alkaline KMnO4 and bromine in CCL4. At the time Kekule was born, once he became the professor, he got attacked the structure of benzene and uh, he gave the structure to the benzene. One day when he is uh, sleeping, he got a dream that one snake putting his tail into his mouth. In the same way, he gave the structure of benzene that the sixth carbon is linked to the first carbon. This is the structure given by the Kekule. These two are the structures which are oscillating each other. In the first structure, the pi bond is present between the first carbon, second carbon, third, fourth and fifth and sixth. But in another structure, the pi bond is present between first carbon and second carbon, third, fourth carbon and fifth and sixth carbon. These two structures was given by the Kekule. Not only Kekule, so many other scientists tried. One of the scientists is Devar. He gave these structures to the benzene. But Kekule structures contributes 80% to the real structure and Devar structures contributes 20% to the real structure. These structures are not the real structures. These structures are just imaginary structures which are written to explain the properties of the benzene. This is a modern con uh, explanation through the resonance. This is the real structure for the benzene which was explained by the Kekule. According to the molecular orbital theory, the modern explanation for the benzene is the habitation of the carbon in this is sp2 and the one more p orbital is present on each carbon these two p orbitals overlaps and forms the pi bond this is the pi bond these two p orbitals overlaps and forms a pi bond and these two p orbitals overlaps and forms the pi bonds this is one way If these two pi bonds, p orbitals overlaps forms a pi bond. These two p orbitals overlaps forms the pi bonds. These two p orbitals overlaps forms the pi bond. See this? These p orbitals are overlapping like this means the delocalization of electrons are taking place in such a way that here the pi electrons are not fixed just between 1 and 2 carbon and 3 and 4 carbon or 5 and 6 carbon. Here the pi electrons are delocalizing between all the carbon atoms. According to the thermodynamical stability, if you add if you add hydrogen to the cyclohexene it releases some amount of energy that is 28.6 kilocalories of energy if you add 3 moles of hydrogen to the cyclohexatriene how much energy it releases students one bond for one bond 28.6 kilocalories of heat of hydrogenation for three bonds 3 into 28.6 kilocalories of energy means how much 85.8 kilocalories of energy is the expected energy but in real if you add 3 moles of hydrogen to the benzene it releases 49.8 kilocalories of energy 
how much is the difference between these two energies 85.8 minus 49.8 means 36 kilocalories of energy is the difference this is the expected one but this is the practical one real energy this is the amount of energy difference means this is the resonance energy the real meaning of resonance energy is that this is the amount of energy required by the benzene for the delocalization of electrons means it is lowering its energy and getting the stability this is the structure of benzene these are the resonating structures we can say these are the canonical structures of the benzene this is the resonance hybrid of the benzene this is the structure of benzene if you like my video please cl click on thumbs up button please share my video and subscribe my channel 